Hello, I'm OP Silver, and I'm going to review Murder Drones Episode 2. I pretty much have no words for this right now, so I'm just gonna get this started. So the episode begins with a flashback where Anne is serving, I assume, the partner company of JC Jensen. Skipping a little bit ahead though, we get to see a new disassembly drone. Currently, as of the release of this video, we don't know who this character is, but there is probably going to be more explanation in the future. Though Anne does seem to be sh** himself here, so maybe a villain or something. Anne wakes up and falls down face first like an idiot. Then Ozzy looks in the mirror and it cracks. What really confuses me is her eye, because in the pilot her eye was yellow and a glitched warning symbol, then it's changed to this. Was there a change of plans in the script? Was there... is there more I'm missing? W what is it? If there's a genuine reason about this, I'd like to know in the comments, please. Because I'm genuinely confused about this. Also, Anne was the one that crashed the plane like the clumsy f*** he is. Jay was getting orders from someone. If not the company through that relay, then, uh, who? And how? Quit complicating my murder plan. How does this complicate your murder plan? Did you have a plan in the first place? We cut to the other worker drones, and one of them has a job to fix the ceiling to make sure everyone is safe. The lights shut off because the other worker drone and Jay's body is just dragged away. Then something emerges from it like it's alien isolation. Then we cut to Khan in a parent-teacher conference, and the teacher tells the concerning behavior about Uzi. Uzi, uh, give Brayden back his sentience. Fight me! Her. I started it. And also, I'm done! Wait, you can do that? Why didn't she do this in the previous episode? She would blend it in well with the disassembly drones. Ugh, I'm sweaty! Who programmed that? You good, Uzi? I'm good. Better than good. I am God! Oh, no, see, it's funny because that's his phrase. Or he popularized it. One of the two. Anyway, Thad comes in to give Uzi her railgun from the previous episode. Then it cuts to Tim seeing Kevin as a hologram, then he dies. Then we come back to the others with Uzi, Thad, and Anne trying to get into shelter. And they manage to get in with Anne's masterpiece of an art that he made. The next Leonardo da Vinci, I tell you. Parent-teacher conference? Something about his daughter being more important than building a door in this hallway. Ugh, kinda cringe. Ew, yeah, ugh. Oh, give me a minute. I mean, you don't think it's my parenting, do you? I left her for dead once. It sounds like she's bored in your class, and the other kids suck. Oh, looks like somebody's in denial of the previous episode because she explicitly explained that it was because of you. We're also introduced to a character named Doll who speaks Russian. Lizzie sees herself behind a door and goes right to it due to her absolute narcissism. Then the scene ends. And another thing we are introduced is absolute sulfur. It's pretty vague. The only thing we really hear is theories from Uzi and that's it. We're probably gonna have more of a clear explanation in the future. Anyway, Thad gets snatched away by Jay. When Ed and Uzi are on their way to save them, they end up seeing his hologram. They obviously don't fall for this, and Thad manages to get away. So, as it turns out, this isn't really Jay. This is her program trying to rebuild her. Ed and Uzi run away from the program, and the railgun explodes because it broke. They manage to survive the explosion, though. Then a mini fleshy robot thing tries to run away, which is the program. Then Ed kills it. Uzi gets absolutely horrified and then goes right back to Khan. Continuing off with the doll scene, we see Lizzie in a flashback get saved by her. Then we see Doll explode a bug and lick the oil. And this is where I should technically end the review and get my thoughts about it. The comedy was a definite improvement from the first episode. Except for the cringe line, that, that, that absolutely got me on my nerves. Overall, and aside from that stupid joke, I think this score would be an 8 out of 10. I'm OP Silver, and signing off.